we have an equation that's in slope intercept form, and they'll ask you to put it into standard form. So what they want to do, what they want you to do is rewrite this in the form AX plus BY equals C for a variety of reasons. I, a, maybe it's easier to graph. B, maybe it, um, they just want you to do algebra a little bit, okay? So how could I, first thing that I probably want to do is get the X's and the Y's on both sides. Well, let's not do that first. First thing that I want to do is probably get rid of the fraction. How can I get rid of a three down here? Very nice, right? I times three. But not only do I have to times this little thing by three, but I times every single thing by three. And when I do that, three times y makes what? Three y. And this is our part. What happens with this three and this three? They go away, and I get negative 2 times x, which just becomes negative 2x, which is really nice. 2xy, I multiply by 3. Now, what's 3 times 3? Oh, I bet you know that one. 9, see? Now, all I need to do is get it to look like this. How can I get this to look like that? Very good, Lizzie. Add the 2x to the other side. So she's exactly right. So I'm going to take 2x over here, and I'm going to put it on, I'm going to make it go away from this side. And now I have 9 equals, and usually you want to put the two at the x's before the y's if, to be truly in standard form. So it's now it's 2x plus 3y equals 9. Easy? Not too bad. Now, just to show you something, if I wanted to graph this one, it is a little trickier because if I made my little tables where I'm trying to find my x and my y intercept, x, y, when x is 0, if I cover this up, when x is 0, what's y? 3 times y gives me 9. Three. Three. Three, okay? But when y is 0, so say I cover this up. 2 times what number gives me 9? Not 4. 4.5. 4. 5. So you could either do that in your head, say 2 times what number gives me 9, or I could divide 9 by 2, right? 9 divided by 2, and I get 4.5. So this graph goes through 0, 3, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 0.5, about 0. And then I could draw my graph going through going through those points. I, oh, I way missed on those, didn't I? I want to make it up higher. So kind of going through. Uh, I'm not very good. But you get the idea, right? Maybe. What's wrong, Skylar? Nothing. OK. All right. The last thing we're going to look at is a word problem, because you like word problems, right? Maybe. Good? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Open Dropbox folder. I could go right here. It depends on what word problem you're talking about. I'd be talking about, I'd be talking about this what? one right here. Chapter, what chapter are we in? Chapter 6. Plus of the 72. We're going to talk about standard form. We're going to talk about additional examples. We're going to get rid of this one. You can do that. It shows you kind of some examples we've been using. Okay, just like the ones we've been doing. See? Just like I taught you. See, I know what I'm Oh! We didn't talk about this. Do you guys know how you graph y equals 4? That, that, I didn't talk about this, so I would like to talk about this. To graph y equals 4, well, to graph y equals 4, 0 times x times y 
for all values of x, y equals 4. So that's what that means. Okay? So y is always 4. So if you think about it, okay, no matter what x is, y is always going to be 4. Okay? So a graph that says y equals 4, it's a horizontal line that is 4 units up from the x-axis. If they say graph x equals negative 3, anyone know what that would look like? Yes. If y equals 4 is a horizontal line, x equals negative 3 means that x is always negative 3. So where would that be? When is x always negative 3? For all values of y, x equals negative 3. So what you get, if you were to graph that, is a vertical line going through negative 3. Okay. So for example, let me do a fresh example right here. Say I had, uh, say I had x equals 5. Who can tell me what that line would look like? Brian, put your feet on the floor. What would x equals 5 look like? It would look like a vertical line through 5. You are exactly correct. So x equals 5, I would come over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spots, and then I would put a vertical line through those points, okay, through 5, kind of like that, okay? Who can tell me what y equals negative 2 would look like? Where? Through negative 2. So you go down 2, and then you put a horizontal line through a horizontal line through negative 2, kind of like this. Right? That would be y equals negative 2. Okay? Going back to if we did one like that, right? Multiply both sides just like I did. See? And then they get this, and then they bring the x onto the other si both sides, exactly like I did. Okay. So this is what I want to talk about: is a word problem, and this is the last thing. Okay. Write an equation in standard form to find the number of hours you would need to work at each job, a total of 130 hours. So for mowing lawns, you make $12 an hour. How much do you charge, Blake? $12 an hour. You charge by the yard, right? Okay. Are you still mowing lawns now? Kind no, of not, not, now you can shovel driveways, right? Yeah. Do you do that in the wintertime? Um, oh, okay. So, uh, so let's grab a picture of this, otherwise it's going to, uh, it's going to go away on me. So, um, here we go. So, what you want to do with a word problem is you want to set up a variable. Let x equal something and let y equal something. What do you think that x should be? What do you think x should be? <coughs> You're mowing lawns for so many hours. Well. And you're, at, no, it's not 12. What should x be? Huh? Yes, Kieran said it. Hours doing what? Hours doing mowing lawns. mowing lawns. Thank you. So if x is the hours mowing lawns, what do you think you should let y be? What do you think you should let y be, Lily? You don't know? If X is the hours mowing lawns, what do you think that Y should be, Lily? What? No. X is the hours mowing lawns. Y would be what? Y would be what? Why would be what, Sarah? Huh? Money made? No. Lizzie? The hours delivering papers, okay? Hours delivering papers. I'm not letting you guys have the hook. Kind of 
delivering papers. Okay? So now I could write an equation. I make $12 an hour for mowing lawns. So I could say that 12 times the number of hours I mow lawns plus $5 for delivering newspapers times the number of hours delivering newspapers equals how much? How much money do I make? $130. I think those iPods are blocking your brains. That's what I think. I think they rock, block your brain synapses so you can't, you can't focus. All right. And that's it. Write an equation in standard form to find the number of hours you would need to work at each job to make a total of $130. There you go. So which do you think you would want to do more of? You want to go in months, but you make more an hour, right? But if you can't phone up funds, then you have to deliver newspapers in your, in your free time. But I think you can, I don't know. Wait, don't you make it 18 hours? Oh, I'm sorry. Why didn't you say something? You get, this should be Y, right? Sorry, that's what you're doing. That should be Y. Okay? Any questions about that? Okay. Your homework which you will begin on right now, is page 301, every single problem. No, I'm just kidding. Um, two through 26 evens. I should write in a color you can see. Two through 26 evens. For those of you in the home viewing audience, this is two through 26 evens, page 301. And furthermore, uh, 38 through 46 evens. And um, with that said, we're gonna sign off and you may begin.